Uh, good evening, everyone. So my name is Yogesh Sevak, and today TechX session about uh, SSO integration using Auth0 and Drupal application. Today agenda is uh, like uh, we will cover this uh, some of this point introduction to single sign-on uh, and Auth0 benefits of SSO integration in Drupal and steps to integrate Auth0 SSO in Drupal and then demo. So first of all, what is the SSO like? SSO is an authentication process that allow user to access multiple application and services within a single set of login credentials. Correct. And Auth0, so Auth0 is an identity as a service platform that provides authentication and authorization service for application and API. So it provides some uh, including support for various authentication method like social logins, multi-factor authentication, username, password. Next is benefits of SSO integration in Drupal, correct? So first one is seamless user experience. Uh, integrating SSO into Drupal enables user to log in once and access all the connected applications seamlessly, eliminating the need of need for multiple login and enhancing user convenience, correct? And second one is centralized user management. So if we have multiple application in that case, uh, SSO centralized user authentication and authorization making it easier for administrator to manage user account and permission. Correct, and uh, enhance security and reduce development efforts by leveraging author, uh, Auth0 SSO capability developers can significantly reduce the times and effort required to implement authentication and authorization feature in Drupal application. So uh, now I'm, I'll explain you how to integrate, uh, uh, what are the steps, correct? So to integrate Auth0 and Drupal application. So these are all the steps I'll explain you in Auth0 dashboard, so you can get an idea better. So first you have to register uh, uh, in Auth0, okay? So first you need to go to uh, this uh, link, manage.auth0. If you don't have account, uh, don't have any account, you need to register. Otherwise, you can log in. So I, I already registered for. Uh, okay, so I have one account. So here, uh, you will after registration, you will see one dashboard here. Okay, so here you need to first create one uh, tenant. Uh, here, uh, go to this uh, section. Click on this. There is one option. Uh, create tenant. And here uh, you can create a, a environment wise tenant. Okay. So for example, you have a development staging and production environment. So you can configure uh, this tenant for each and uh, every environment. Okay. So for example, I'm creating uh, that one. Okay, so you can select any region which you want. We have only some limited uh, regions here. Environment tech, I'm selecting development right now. Mm -hmm. So once you will, uh, when you create this, you will see this uh, screen. So I have used Auth0 before. Otherwise you can just go to this tour. Okay, so five minute introduction, I think. So I already done this. So after that, once you created this tenant, uh, you have to create one application, okay, to uh, connect the Drupal application, okay. So here, uh, go to the application, click on application, okay. Uh, then uh, click on create application, okay. So here you need to enter your application name. So, and you, uh, we have to select uh, regular web application, okay. So we have, then cl click on create. So once this uh, application uh, created, uh, you need to go to setting. So here you will see this client ID and uh, secret, client secret. This, uh, when, if you use any endpoint, okay. So Auth0 have some endpoint. And if you want to call those endpoints, that time this uh, 
you can use this client id and client secret okay so if you want to change the logo and uh, if you want to use your organization organization logo you can update from here and we need to mention one callback url i'll explain you later where we will get and how we will add okay so after that what we need to do we need to go to add-ons okay we need to enable this saml web app so when you click on this so that callback url is uh, look like uh, this okay the saml assertion and your domain name so this url you will get uh, from minior and saml module i'll explain you uh, how you will get so first uh, here uh, you need to add this url so before that i install this module and uh, how to how you will get this I'll, so for that uh, also for drupal end we need uh, this contrib module okay to connect the auth zero uh, so i'll install this module also i have created one patch minor patch for this module because whenever uh, once user login and sign up user will uh, redirect to our drupal application correct and directly login okay so there is no email verification check so uh, what i did i create one patch for this module so before login or sign up that uh, patch will check uh, email is verified or not okay so i already created that patch uh, i'll mention later so this patch is uh, applied okay so we need to enable this module we have to okay so when you once you enable this uh, you need uh, login as the admin okay for drupal application and go to the configuration okay so you will see one uh, configuration page for mini orange uh, saml module so click on this okay so here you will see the uh, acs url which we have to uh, mention in the callback url so go to the dashboard okay and first go to the setting and uh, you can you need to mention uh, this url here callback url uh, you can al uh, also add multiple url uh, you, uh, by comma separating okay so add this url in uh, callback url and just click on save okay again then uh, go to the add add-ons we need to enable uh, we have to enable this uh, saml to web app okay so go to the setting just uh, mention this url and click on enabled okay fine. so once you enable and then go to the usage and download one metadata file okay so this is the metadata file okay when you click on this uh, you will uh, get one file okay so now uh, go to this uh, mini orange saml module okay so after that you uh, go to the uh, service provider setup okay here you need to uh, uh, upload this file okay go to this okay just upload so automatically all the properties uh, will save okay after that here go go to dashboard okay so now 
Drupal and Auth0 connected, correct? And uh, when you go to the user management, currently we don't have any user. Correct? So now when you go to this website, for example, Okay, so go to the user login page. So you will see one login using identity provider. Okay, this uh, link coming from Minior and Simul module. Okay, so when you click on this, it will redirect to the uh, this Auth0 uh, login prompt. Okay, so here uh, you can add or uh, if you have username and password. You can enter, otherwise, you can sign up also. Okay, so I'm just creating one account here. Okay, so I click on continue. So currently, I have I'm using a HTTP URL, that's why it's showing in HTTPS, uh, it will not show. So Again, I'm redirecting to the home page. Please verify your email before login. So uh, before login, uh, we have to verify the email. So we will get one mail. Okay. Yeah, if you see, there is verify your email. So you will get uh, uh, one link. We, we need to, uh, we have to verify this uh, email. Okay. So when you click on this, Email verified, and you can see now if you go to the user management. Okay, so in user management, see now one user is regist uh, registered, correct? So here, if we uh, email also verified, if not verified, in that case, you will see uh, unverified here. So now I'm trying to log in again. So for example, sorry. So now I'm successfully logged in. So this is the Auth0 integration. Okay. So also here you can uh, customize many things. Okay. So currently I'm, uh, uh, we have, we can customize this uh, Auth0 form also. So we have universal login option. So here you can, uh, whatever you want, correct? So. Uh, suppose you want to customize any color, background color, logo, and there is another op some other option also. So you can customize this, all the text from here, font, border, widget, page background. Okay. And if you want to uh, uh, customize email template, in that case, uh, in that case, you can customize the email uh, template from here. Okay. So we have this option. So this is the verification email using link, then change password. This is all email template you can change from here. You can update text or layout, whatever you want. Okay. And the, yeah, we have one, uh, here we have one conditions like uh, if you want to update any email template, you need to uh, configure email provider. Okay. So uh, suppose you want to update this email template in you need to first configure this email provider like send grade whatever uh, we have okay so after uh, uh, once you configure this uh, email provider uh, provider we can uh, you can uh, enable to uh, you can update this uh, template okay so yeah these all steps are already on my 
Okay, okay. So there is a uh, one more thing here we have. Uh, if you want to map the role, okay, uh, steps to it. Suppose uh, after login, you want to uh, map any uh, Drupal role. So whenever user login from or zero, you want to map any uh, specific role, you can just enable this option, enable role mapping and select uh, whatever role you want to map. Okay, so you can uh, do uh, map the role from here. And some of the feature uh, currently not enabled because uh, this is the free version. Okay, so some of the feature not available here. Yeah, so so uh, you can see now successfully I'm able to log in via our system. That's it. Uh, thank you. Do you have any question? Hi guys, thank you for watching. I had an amazing time learning all the new things here at Specbeast TechX, and if you did too. Do let us know in the comments below. Keep following Specpy for the latest trends in technology. See you in the next one.